Omar Ruiz. Thanks for joining us. We're going to hey, talk hey. more about the Patriots' uh, dysfunction. I don't even know what to call what they're going through right now. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but I am. I love this game because there's it's there's such a soap opera element. There are so many connections, so many threads, so many relationships. Some good, some maybe not so good. Um, how they ended. <laughs> but the one thing that I can't get over when I look at the stats is that Josh McDaniels, the mentee is 2-0 and over the mentor, Bill Belichick. This would be a heck of a time to go to 3-0 and if you're Josh McDaniels. Yeah, they're hoping to carry some momentum from last week into this week. And it's another week, another big-time Raiders receiver with that reunion game. And it's Jacoby Myers who said he gets still teased the way last December's game ended, of course, throwing the lateral that Chandler Jones picked off in overtime to end that instant classic. Meyer saying, of course, he wants to play well, looking forward to see his buddies. It was Devontae Adams, who you see there, who had that reunion game last week, and it said, yes, they squeaked out that win. They will certainly take it, but they want to put a convincing win together, something that they can hang their hat on and build off of that. So they're looking to do that against the Patriots. They felt like they finally got the run game going. Josh Jacobs had his highest output, and he told me he felt like they wore the Packers down late in the second half. Even those two and three yard runs he felt were Raiders victories play in and play out hoping to apply that same pressure to the New England Patriots of course Max Crosby's been putting pressure all over every offense he faces the AFC player of the week four tackles for loss he had a sack and I asked him after the game if he feels the next evolution of his game is elevating the play of his teammates and he said yeah he had a conversation with Tom Brady about that last week who was in town for the Las Vegas Aces Went out to practice, and Brady was telling him, you got to have a lot of leaders around you and continue to build that part of your game. And we saw that response by those Raiders teammates. Amik Robertson, we saw the highlight play to save the game. Robert Splain, a couple interceptions. Even the wily veteran, Marcus Peters, had the deflection to tip the ball for one of Spillane's picks. And then the heads-up play, the horse-collar tackle. Obviously, didn't want to get the penalty, but he ultimately took a touchdown off the board. Saved, the saved four points, and that was the difference in the game. So obviously looking to continue that here this week. You can sort of see the Raiders kind of slowly getting this thing together, especially on offense. Not so sure the Patriots are in the same boat. It's going to be really interesting. I mean, two tough performances for Mac Jones. Got pulled in both. Obviously, the score dictated that. But still, you can sort of feel the fire under his feet a little bit. It's been a rough time for Bill Belichick with people in New England openly debating his future. Where do the Patriots go from here, Omar? Well, they're going to their second home. Bill Belichick, you don't think, would be joking, smiling at a press conference this week, but he was doing exactly that, saying that in the past 14 months, he spent more time in Las Vegas than in the previous history of his life. Of course, they had the training camp practices <laughs> last year in the preseason game. Then they spent about a week out west between games and the Cardinals and the Patriots before that aforementioned regular season game last year in Las Vegas. Then they coached the Shrine Bowl and obviously heading out for a regular season matchup this time. And what do people go to Las Vegas for, you guys? To have fun. And that's what Mac Jones is saying this week. They got to get back to that. Have fun on the field. Celebrate with their teammates when they get chances to score and really relish playing with their buddies and getting back to that. Of course, Mac Jones saying, He's focused on getting back to what he does well, and that's looking downfield, making sure his feet are in the right place, communicating. He says he hasn't always felt like he's been himself there in New England. He's looking to communicate more, whether that's route depth to his receivers, whether that's being that leadership liaison from the coaches to the players and vice versa from players to coaches. So certainly looking for all the right answers, going back to basics this week, hoping to find that magic there in the desert in Las Vegas. Uh, honestly, I don't know where the Patriots turn if they don't uh, run into better luck while they are in Las Vegas. Omar Ruiz, thank you for joining us.